So we've discussed negative move, positive move, and the load. And we've also briefly discussed creating tension. And that's really what all of those aspects or positions of the swing and movements of the swing are trying to do. They're trying to set us up to create tension, resistance, separation in what we call the launch position. And this is the launch position here. And there's some things that we're looking for in each of these athletes that we're going to play through here. Okay. And what we're looking for is we're really looking for Oops, sorry. We're really looking for a front bent knee. Front heel is flat on the ground. We're going to look probably for a partially bent back leg, but a long back leg. And by long back leg, what I mean is if you can see the hips here, we're starting to create a rotation. So we're going from internal rotation on that back leg We've got internal rotation right here, and we're eventually going to get to external rotation or hip extension, and then that's going to turn into internal rotation at the front leg as we swing. But what we're trying to do in this position is create stretch. So that's the whole idea of the negative move, forward move, the load, all of that is to get to this position here and create stretch. Now that we have discussed the lower body here, a lot of times what we're looking for is that knob pointed to the catcher, back and down here, all right? And we're going to look for some kind of a barrel angle that's behind the head. Another thing we want to look for is the shoulders. Usually we're going to have the shoulders pointing downward. Here Adrian Gonzalez is working slightly up. Uh, could be dependent on when this picture was taken, but we want it working slightly down typically. Typically what we're looking for is that motion there with the shoulders or position and then that position with the bat and if we can get that around 90 degrees that's even better because if we can get there and hold it that's going to set us up for our connection which is what we're going to discuss in a later video another thing that i like to look for is how we're stacking our center of mass so if you think about his belly button is probably right about there where that black dot is now if you look at his nose, he's got kind of a negative relationship with that belly button. All right, the nose is slightly in front of the belly button. All right, it's or it's stacked right over top of it. What we don't want is the nose to be behind the belly button in that fashion. We don't want to set that tilt too early. Setting the tilt too early means we're tilting before we're going to the pitch and that back shoulder is going to drop a little bit too much and we're going to be working too much uphill. So everything in the negative move, the forward move, the load is getting us set to get into this good launch position. Here's Trey Turner here, another example of an athlete in a pretty good position here. Okay. Go back to Trey. Um, you can see here he's got some of the same things we've talked about. All right, He's got a front bent knee, his heel's on the ground, his back leg is a little bit long, slight bend there. Front shoulders are working slightly downhill. Bat is angled behind his head. Knob is to the catcher. Okay, The hips relatively level here, and he's ready to go to the ball. Okay, Babe Ruth, same thing. Again, kind of like Adrian Gonzalez, his shoulders are a bit level here. Um, they're pretty level, maybe slightly down. What I like here about this picture is you can see his belly button's probably right about there, and you can see his nose is in front. So that action has a nice forward attacking angle there that, that I kind of like there because the move is a little bit forward, but then we can still turn behind that axis, which is really going to help with the power. All right, his front heel is down. Uh, front knee is bent. Knob is to the catcher. Bat has a nice angle back that way. So the babe in a great hitting position for a great launch position. Soto. A lot of the same things here, all right? Front heel's down, front knee's bent, back leg is long, slightly bent. Knob isn't quite to the catcher, that's okay, but it's close. we got a good bat angle. And if you look here, his bat, just like that, his shoulders right there, his shoulders relatively, oh, his shoulders are relatively level, and his bat's right 
there. So he's right about 90 degrees there, which is where we want to be. And then Cody Bellinger, great position here. Heels down, front knee's bent, back knee slightly bent, a little bit longer. Forward attacking shoulders, hips are level, starting to open. Knobs angled to the catcher. Nice position, checking all those boxes. And the GOAT himself, Bonds, excellent position here. Forward leaning. There's the belly button. Nose is in front of the belly button. Bad angled behind the head. Knob to the catcher. Heel on the ground. I know we can't see that, but perfect position there for Bonds to set himself up. And then Mookie Betts. This one's excellent. It's a little bit more drastic than some of the other ones. That's why I like it. Because you can see his front foot on the ground. Front knee bent. Long black leg. Long back leg. Knee bent there. Uh, knob to the catcher. Hips relatively level. Nice downward forward attacking angle. That's at about 90 degrees. And he, I mean, he's ready to unload here. So, with the launch or the um, which with the launch position, this is where we want to be. And here's Trout just doing an exemplary job of it. Front knee bent, back knee heel on the ground. Front heel on the ground. Back knee bent. Long black back leg. Hips relatively level. Shoulders level or slightly down. Belly button's there, or about there. Nose is right in line with it. Knob to the catcher. Good bat angle. So as we see this, this is where we need to be. This attack angle, or this launch position, as we see Bonds get into it right there. This is where we want to get. This is where our load is setting us up to get. Balanced, we move the center of mass in a balanced manner, control it, the hips are leading, and we have our stretch. We've got stretch this, we've got stretch from the front foot to the hands, we've got stretch this way initially, and then as the hips open, the upper body works back, and then we have stretch this way as well. So we've created that stretch through everything we do, and then we're able to launch. Launch position, and then we come through. So the importance of everything we've discussed, negative move, positive move, load, is to get in to that perfect launch position right there. So then we can get into the ball fast, efficient, and strong.